right, let's go from Hollywood to Broadway because Steve just got the chance to sit down with an industry legend, and it was the first thing I asked you about yeah, this morning. It really was, but I gotta say, if you go Wawa West, you gotta go Cool Mo D. You gotta oh, go okay. way back, like way yes. back for that one, right? <laughs> uh, we're gonna go big transition from that to musical theater because we can do it all on Good Day, no there doubt about it. So you know the name, and if you don't, it's fine because you've seen the face before or you've heard the voice like this. Welcome to our humble home. This looks like a good spot to rustle up some grub. Ew, gross. Or maybe you watch Modern Family and you know um, the, the, the Palm Springs crew, right? We're talking about actor and singer Nathan Lane. And maybe you know him from The Lion King, The Birdcage. Marissa, that's mm -hmm. what you said that you, you know him from. The producers, People vs. O.J. Simpson, dozens of other yeah. TV and movie appearances. So later this month, the three-time Tony Award winner is going to be here in the DMV. The Signature Theater in Arlington is going to honor him with the 2024 Stephen Sondheim Award. It's an annual gala. It's going to be at the Italian Embassy in D.C. It's a huge red carpet deal, national attention. So we got a chance to catch up with him yesterday. I talked with Nathan about the special honor. And we also talked about how difficult it is to get an EGOT. He's halfway there. Okay. Is this something that's on his radar? And should the rules be changed a bit when we look back retrospectively? Here's what he had to say. My last question for you, and if you'll bear with me, uh, since you already, uh, in your world of success, have the uh, Emmy and you have the Tonys, uh, you're halfway to the EGOT. If you were to reach that status, which one would come next and which one would be last? Well, you know, I'm glad you brought this up. <laughs> you know, there's... There's a weird thing, you know, the Grammy, I guess I would have to do it like a spoken word thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, but they used to, um, uh, now I see that they give Grammys if you're just on the album. And I've been on a, 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 certainly a couple of cast albums that won Grammys, but uh, we, we didn't, I think we should get something retroactively from the Grammys, because I see everyone gets a, a Grammy now. Um, uh Oh, well, I, you know, the other two, the Oscar, yeah, I, I, you know, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I, one, one could hope you, I would, might get a, a role that, that was worthy of that kind of attention in a film. But, um, yeah, the Grammys, I, I, yeah, I, I think I should work on the Grammys. So yeah. here's what we'll do. Uh, you work on the Oscar part, and then we'll see if we can help out with getting the retroactive Grammy so that we can get that part. Oh, then, okay. It, oh, that's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll work, work together on this. So because, really, what's more important than being an EGOT? <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Lane is a very, very funny guy, and obviously, if you, uh, like I mentioned with Modern Family, he was Pepper on there in, in a more comedic role. He's done great jobs in, in the world of movies, and I mean, who knows? He's one of those people, he obviously could complete the cycle, yes, right? Yes. You never know if he's going to complete the EGOT cycle or not. Oh, uh, certainly has the talent to do so, but this is all about Stephen Sondheim, who he looked up to in his theater, uh, early theater life, and then he had the pleasure of actually working with and collaborating and partnering and directing with Stephen Sondheim, and he said that was just the thrill of his life. And, and when I asked him if there was any surprise about this announcement for him, he said, yeah, I think they got the wrong guy. He said, I don't feel like I belong in that league with Stephen Sondheim, which shows his appreciation for him. So Nonetheless, the theater world does believe that yes. he'll be honored here in dc on april 29th if you'd like to go for ticket information you can check out the signature theater website and find out more information there but really cool nathan lane to join yeah, us yesterday yeah. and chat about that also, a little bit the legend he is yeah. that was a great interview too yeah. there's he nothing was. more important than egot yeah i mean I agree. best of the best right <laughs> and you think about the amount of talent it takes to nail uh -huh. that he can do it steven all right see that was really great love it <laughs>